Now the next step is to take a chord that we might use in a song and produce harmonics with it. In this case, I'm going to use a G6-9 with a major 7. First fingers barred across the second fret. On the sixth string, I've got my uh, G with the second finger and then a D note right here with the third finger. Now when I produce the harmonic, I've got to follow the same pattern as my chord shape. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab this G right here, then move down a fret to this B, E, A, and back up to this D and an F sharp. So now I've got a G, 6, 9, major 7 chord. Get the idea? Now let me show you how an artist like Ted can take a chord shape and mix some harmonics and use a cascading effect with the chords. Now, I'm going to first start with an open D string produced with my third finger here. So I'm going to hit that note and um, it helps to have a nail on that finger as well, by the way. And then I'm going to grab the harmonic here on an E. Now this is going to come up to the third string. This is then I'm going to grab the harmonic here on the fifth string. That's going to hit the second string. That's on the fourth. That's my open high E string. And there's my harmonic on the third fret. So I'm getting this kind of sound. So there's a technique that you need to work on. That was kind of sloppy. I believe it's harder to do on the open strings, really. Now, if I was to bar on the fifth fret up here, excuse me, third fret, I'm going to produce that same effect on uh, on this fret here for my G, okay, for like G minor. And I'm going to do that same idea. Now I can finish it out if I want, like this. Now let's use that chord. Now let me show you how to get a descending line. Now I'm going to bar on the third fret with just straight across. And when I play it descending, I'm going to hit the harmonic first and then hit the uh, non-harmonic note. So first going up I have the non-harmonic note, then the harmonic. And I'm going to stop there because I'm going to hit this one twice and then come back down. Here's one more effect with the harmonics that sounds really neat. It's, I'm going to bar across the third fret and I'm going to, instead of playing my harmonics now as a cascade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play them together. Isn't that a pretty sound? Now I'm going to fret some chords and uh, listen to some of the sounds we can produce. Okay, now the secret to this technique is to get that 
ability to produce a harmonic with these two fingers to do the alternating picking. And then after that, take any chord shape and try to try to get a harmonic out of it and just, just play the chord. You know, it doesn't always have to be a, a chord that encompasses all six strings, although it does help. Listen to this like E minor here. All right, so you get the idea? Experiment with playing progressions. It's got a music box kind of sound, doesn't it? Or we could even play single notes. I could play a scale. Up a chord, like a G major 7th. So experimentation, I think, is the key to this. Once again, you can thank Ted for showing me this, and now I'm showing you.